Hello, my name is Mr. Davenport, and today we're going to be looking at the American Presidency Project. So, if you need to search for it, you can look up presidency.ucsb.edu. Um, it is a digital archive full of primary documents as well as secondary documents uh, by and of um, and relating to the presidents of the United States of America, from the very first George Washington to our current president, Joe Biden. So the first thing you should do when you come to a new digital archive page is I would look at the home page to find out if they're like if they explain what their pay, their website is about, how to use it and information like that. So you can see some of the their things they're showcasing. They have Trump's uh, Twitter from 2015 to 2021. They have weekly compilations of presidential documents going from 1977 to 2009. You have over here, Biden's first 100 days in office. Um, you have this day in history. Over here, they talk about their top 10 most viewed uh, presidential documents, and you have some t statistics which you they have an actual section of. But let's say you want to learn about a specific president. Let's say FDR, because you want to learn about, or you're supposed to be learning about the Great Depression or the New Deal. So you can go here, and they'll have every president: Joe Biden, Trump, Obama, all the way down to. George Washington. So let's see, here you go. And it's in order from first to last, current. So you got Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And the first thing you'll see is the home page or of the president, which will have some basic information on them, uh, some links to uh, websites that are more resources on the president. And this will be for any of the presidents. Um, so this one leads to his presidential library and museum. So there's some more information there and some other uh, websites like his biography and stuff. When you come down to the actual documents, it will uh, be in chronological order um, from earliest to latest. So this is in 1932. This was before he was elected president, likely during his, as it says, his uh, first primary campaign for the presidential nomination. So, <clears throat> And it goes down, down to here on the first page in 1933, right here is his inaugural address, um, then his first radio address, and, and some more. So, and this goes all the way to 1945, April 13th, which I believe is one day, yes, one day after he died in April, on April 12th. So, and it, as it says, it has, says undelivered address. So, it was released anyways, but yeah. And then you have all the stuff in between. Now, let's say you want to search for a specific type of document. So you can go down to Documents, and one thing you would do is I would check out these tips on how to use advanced, uh, how to use the advanced search. So read this. I'm not going to, but I advise you to. And there's even some more tips, like go over all of that, because it will be really helpful. I've done this, and it, it really helps. But let's say you want to first search a specific president. So let's look up um, FDR and find him. You can also just maybe type, yes, uh, Franklin, no. there. So, and then you can type. Uh, you could also not do that and just search for, like, if you, whatever you're doing, you can for all presidents, but let's say we want to do that. And then let's say we want to look up um, uh, executive orders. So we could type in executive orders. There we go. And then you click out of it. So, and then just all executive orders that he's issued. And you click apply. So that would lead to all of these. And these are all from his beginning of his presidency to likely the end. Um, let's say you want to do something else. We're going to remove that. Let's say anything that has to do with um, black people, because while the New Deal was awesome, it uh, did not, it was not as favorable toward black people. So we could type in African American. And I've already searched this before, so I'm just going to go down and type in black and Negro, and I say Negro because that is the historical term that they would have used back then. At least that's what I have seen. So, but I include the other ones just in case. So first we're going to click search. And also this is for any document that contains these terms. 
but this one is for all ter these terms. So if I were to type in a specific set of things and I want to have all of these things, that, that's where I would put it over here. If you want to contain none of the things that you're looking for to like eliminate certain things, you would put it in here on none of these terms. And then here you can put the dates uh, between this date and that date. So there's a lot of things, but as you can see, it's starting to say Americans, Americans, uh, the Black Horse Cavalry, and a bunch of things that I'm not looking for. Uh, and that's because I didn't put a hyphen. So if you put a hyphen in there and then you search, it narrows it down to 36. We went from, I believe it was over 500, now to 36 with 25 per page. You can change how many you want per page over here. But you see, it still says like Eugene Black. It's not talking about black people. But as here, you can see down here, there's talking about the condition of the Negro. And so this would indicate that they don't use the term African-American or black for referring to people. So we can eliminate that and just search for Negro. And then you will see 16 documents. So it narrows it down even more. And these are things that specifically reference this uh, term and would indicate that they are related to this topic. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is... Uh, it also has information on non presidents So if we go, uh, and over here you can also look up by category and by uh, attributes and stuff like that to Congress or conferences and things, and then refine names. You could add uh, presidential names possibly. Um, so we're going to go back here. So along with presidents, here's the president section, there are non presidents So things from people I don't know, like Al Smith, you might know Al Smith, uh, but then you have people that you may know, like Bernie Sanders. Uh, there was also Ben Carson. And so there's everything from his 2015, uh, when he uh, start, ran for president back in 2016, and then uh, things now in 2020, addressed to Democratic National Convention, August 17th. So a lot of these non-presidents are people that were vice presidents or were uh, they ran for president, and a lot of them also have been in Congress and other places of government. So the next thing we look at is media. So over here in the media archive, you'll be able to find things on presidential, letters and interviews, uh, attributes, bill, vetoes, checklists for White House press releases, all of these sorts of things, executive orders, and you can search for year. Um, and down below, you'll find things that they have on certain individuals and stuff like that. If you go to the last one, there was here. It'll even have stuff like fireside chat. And if you click on this, it's just a recording of one of Franklin Delano Roosevelt's fireside chats. So, um, as well as his inaugural address over here. So that would be cool. You can see the actual address uh, video recording. And then if you go to statistics, you will find, uh, let's see. these are uh, statistics, data, and mapping on uh, the presidents with, you got length of presidential speeches, um, party nominee naming of the vice presidential choice, executive orders, vetoes, polling accuracy in elections, and much more. If you click on see all, there's just lots and lots of statistical information you can look up. Presidential Disability, Acting Presidents under amended, 25th Amendment, Section 3. So that's that's something else that probably might have something about um, Wilson, or maybe something else. But uh, if you go to, there's something on, let's look at Executive Orders. So here you can see um, information on all the executive orders given by presidents. Uh, how many terms they had, how many order to executive orders they gave, the average per year, um, and the number of them. Um, they don't start numbering them until quite late. Um, and this just goes for all of them, even if there's less data on the earlier ones. And uh, as you can see here, it says for Joe Biden, He's only done 38 so far because this is early in his presidency as of the time of this recording. Um, he 
he's still within the first 100 days of office, but it's averaging it. This will likely not be his end number, but this takes us to the next part, because this little uh, footnote is connected to this star here. If you click on Biden in action, you can read an article that is being um, continuously updated about Biden's first 100 days in office. That's something that a lot of people often look at for presidents, um, as it indicates a lot of how they will be as a president. So this is just information on them, just executive orders. Uh, this is a statistical list of people's executive orders uh, from the past, uh, going back to, I believe the oldest one is FDR, um, who did a lot of executive orders. And then you have Trump, Obama, Carter, down below you have Eisenhower, and in between a bunch of other ones. Um, so, some other things you can look at are the documents. So if you go over here to documents, um, oh, I forgot another thing besides executive orders. Before we do documents, we're going to look at analysis. So this is this would include like the the Biden's 100 days in office. So yeah, we we went over that. But there's other things like presidents and contagious diseases. President's Day, Washington's Birthday, Historical Notes, the Evolution of Thanksgiving. And so there's just kind of like uh, analysis papers and, you know, research stuff. There's not a whole lot of them because these are by, the a lot of them are by the website as well as others. Here you can find what types of analysis as well as the year and the authors. But let's go over to documents. So... You have things like the State of the Union Address, by year, by president, um, going all the way back, of course, to George Washington. And there's none by Biden yet because it hasn't been, he hasn't had a State of the Union Address yet. You also have things like uh, number of vetoes, and you have farewell addresses. Let's see, I found that before. That was interesting. I'm going to search for it. There, there we go. And I'll show you how to search in that bar in class um, sometime. It's very helpful. So let's say we want to look at Eisenhower, his farewell address. And let's say we want to find the part that talks about the uh, military industrial complex. So you can click search and we type in military industrial, or that doesn't show, so uh, industrial complex. So here we go. And here's the section on, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misguided power exists and will persist. So, this is a very famous part of Eisenhower, but you can do this for any of the presidents if you want to look at, like, one of their farewell addresses and you want to search for a specific part. Or, um, or you can use this search for any of your websites. Uh, this works on any website in any document typically you can use it in Word and PowerPoint and pretty much anything. And the last thing that is very topical now in our current day, you could look at Trump's Twitter. So it's over here. I don't know where to find it normally, but I guess you could search for it um, in the search section. But you come down and it is every tweet that Trump has done relating to his presidency from June 15th, 2015 and all the way to the last one on January 8th, 2021, when his, it'll say on here, I've, I've looked at it, his Twitter was uh, revoked um, or like cut off, uh, likely because of what happened here on January 6th. And you can read about this. And these are all the tweets that he did in one day. Um, so I don't know if there's a, Twitter, Twitters for the other presidents? If Yeah, like here, let's search. Let's, uh, any president. And then we have search. It's being slow, so I don't know. But, um, going back to the main page. That's kind of a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in class or email me. But yeah, good luck with your research. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope the, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.